you are probably wasting hundreds of dollars on tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, when you could get those same AIR tools for free. I've spent over a thousand hours researching ChatGPT, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion to help you understand what's going on, what's good, what's bad, what's awful, and save you time. The problem is that most of the low cost or free options require you to spend either a ton of money, a ton of time, or both, and build out your own software. Now, I hate when people don't get straight to the point in these videos, so I'm gonna give you all the AI secrets I've learned over the past couple of months without the BS. I cannot wait for the very end when we talk about the best tool I think that's out there right now for free. Let's go. I'm sure you've heard of Midjourney. You simply go to their Discord, you click on one of the newbie channels, you go and slash imagine, and then enter your prompt, and then boom. You get your images based off that prompt, which in this case is kind of a comic book style with Elon Musk, but this could cost you up to 50 bucks a month, and you already have so many subscriptions you're paying for between Hulu, Netflix, the hub? So, I'm going to show you the easiest way to use ChatGPT to get free AI art directly in your output. Step one, go with ChatGPT and copy and paste this exact phrase into the prompt. What this is going to do is it is going to pull the image of the prompt through Pollination's AI, which is a free software you can use, and it will create it within the actual ChatGPT itself once the link is fully meshed out, as you saw right there. So this looks more complicated than it is, but basically what's going on is I'm giving you the thing to copy and paste here, this input-output description, and then you're going and doing an example so the ChatGPT understands what you're trying to do and what you're trying to get out of it. So for example, let's say that I'm writing an article about Elon Musk and the looming AI that's coming in, I'm going to set the input as Elon Musk, and then I'm going to set the output as the different details that I want within it. So in there, I don't have to go to Midjourney or Stable Diffusion and learn a whole new site or do it off of ChatGPT. I can do it all within the same system. And so right now I'm here running that prompt through ChatGPT and what's going to happen is it's going to start developing a pollinations link. And once that pollinations link finishes out, then it's going to embed that image within your ChatGPT output and you're going to get the image that you can use for that article. And here we got it on the left, you can see Elon Musk and then it's kind of like this comic book style. But David, what if ChatGPT goes down and I can't get my pollinations images because I can't access the server? Well, would you believe me if I told you that there was a mid-journey copycat where you could get free and unlimited AI generated images? Enter Blue Willow. It's a Discord no different than Mid Journey with the same three easy steps. Now, just like Mid Journey, we're going to have one of these rookie rooms. They're called newbie rooms when you go to Mid Journey, but in here, Blue Willow, it's called a uh, rookie. And in there, we're going to just do the same three steps slash imagine put in our prompt, and in this case, we're gonna use the same prompt we've been using, this Elon Musk with retro comic style and symmetrical vibrant, and then we just press enter, and boom, we get our Elon Musk uh, picture right here, and by the way, for free, look at that quality on the right side, I mean, that's pretty incredible. And no different than Midjourney, we can choose to upscale different images we want, so let's say I want this bottom right picture right here, I'm gonna go and choose the upscale, the U4, boom, we have that same upscale version, the same th way that it would work on Midjourney. So what's the catch? How can Midjourney be $50 a month, but this be completely free? The secret to Boo Willow is actually genius. You see, Midjourney has its own unique proprietary and likely very costly <clears throat> model that it runs your prop through every single time. Blue Willow, on the other hand, is made up of a bunch of different stable diffusion models, and as you put in your prompt, it's going to try to figure out what is the best model to use for your specific prompt. Because of this small but significant change, the outputs that you get, the strokes, the style, even some of the designs, will be radically different between Blue Willow versus Midjourney. Hold up, did you see that Blue Willow automatically chooses the model for me? What if you wanted to choose which model to feed your prompt to in order to get the best output for the particular style that you're going for? This is where Instant Art comes to the rescue. Instant Art allows you to choose which models to feed your mid-journey prompt or Blue Willow prompt into so that you can get way more customization and way more power on what type of AI-generated art you get. So let's dive straight into it. I'm going to go to Generate, and I'm going to input, copy and paste the same prompt we've been using for all these other ones to stay consistent. Now, you could choose the model idea. This is where you get to choose exactly which type of model. In this case, let's just say I'm going to I'm gonna pick a random one, let's say Synthwave, 
and then I can also increase the number of images that I'm gonna get, and that's gonna take a little bit longer, but I think it'll be worth it. And there we go, we got our Synthwave version of Elon Musk. Now, if you want to go and see where all of your images are, all you have to do is go to here, buy images. I created this new account to run this experiment to make sure that it was working right. And so we got some of these cooler ones if you use different types of models. So this is what I was talking about, where you can really customize and play around with what specific models can make sense for your specific needs. So now I'm gonna run through rapid fire all the different AI art tools that are alternatives to Mid Journey. They're still free, but they come with a catch. And the one at the end is probably the most powerful thing I've seen, and I cannot believe that it is free. Number one, Synthesis X. Now this one is kind of limited. It's 25 uses, I think, in total. But what I really like about it is if you're feeling lazy, you don't wanna go and generate a full prompt. What it will do is you could choose an image from the internet and you could copy that image, duplicate it, and put it through their model, and it'll give you a new one that's AI generated so you can use it. So after you download Synthesis X as the Chrome extension, you can actually go to anything on the internet. But in this case, we're just gonna go to um, Google Images. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a photo. I'm just gonna grab this random one. And when you right click on that image, you're gonna have this option down below, which allows you, oh, let me make sure you can see it, where you can choose re-visualize this image. And once you do that, it's gonna bring up the synthesis toolbar, and then it's going to tr start generating that image. And what this is gonna give you is an AI generated image where you don't have to go and use a prompt, and you simply get what you wanna use. And this is actually generated through AI, this is not a real photo. Keep in mind, I don't take money from any of you. I've never taken a sponsorship, partnership, affiliate link. I've never sold a course or tried to do guru coaching. I only want to provide the best possible resource and information to get you ahead and help you succeed. So if that helps you, and that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. Number two, Lexka Art. Now, if Synthesis X was the appetizer, this gets us into some of the bigger main meal courses. Now, if we go to Generate, Lexka has a, almost the exact same interface as Instant Art, except you don't get to choose whether you use a different model like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion or Synthwave. So instead, on this free version, we're going to put in the same prompt that we've been doing to, again, make, remain consistent, show the different outputs from the same prompt, and you'll see what that model will output. And this one generated pretty quickly, and you can see that the quality is very high and it's a little bit of a different style from some of the other ones that we've been seeing. Now keep in mind that the trial ends after you've generated 100 images, but at each month it will reset so you'll be able to do another 100 images. So the way that I would be using this is that I would be using the free tools that I mentioned earlier on where I walked you through how to use them really validate that prompt and then you'll know that you can use it on one of these more high quality models like Lexica. Number three, ddmm.ai. Now this one is the craziest hack that I stumbled upon. I haven't seen anyone else talk about it, so I can't wait to cover it. But to put it simply, ddmm is basically searching any image on the internet everywhere all at once. Now I know what you're thinking, doesn't Google already do that? Well, the answer is not even close. So let's use the same prompt that we've been using and I'm gonna click enter. And what you're gonna see right now is it is literally searching all the different prompts that are on the internet and then trying to match that to what we just put in. And we get some pretty cool results. Now, the reason why this is amazing, you can actually expand into the prompts from the search results. So let's go and show this in action. So I clicked into one of these images and now I'm seeing some of the prompts that were used to get that image. But now I can go and revise that. And instead of doing, let's just say comic book cover, let's just say I wanna say it's an, it's an X-Men comic book cover. So just a second, X-Men comic book cover. And now when I press enter, it's going to generate a new image that is now blended from that original result that we clicked on. And voila, we have one where it's literally Elon Musk that's in an X-Men kind of cover book on a, on a comic book cover. And it's just, it's incredible how you can really manipulate what other people have already done and you don't have to go and pay extra money for Dolly 2 or Mid Journey or some of these other ones like Lexica Art for it to generate an image for you. You just take what somebody else did and then you can go and generate it for free off of this site, DDMN. Now I told you we had an absolute banger coming for the end. So this is the best of the best as far as free goes and that's Playground AI. Now there's absolutely no point in me trying to explain why this is so good. It's so much easier to show you. So let's just dive right in. Now, first of all, we have two stable diffusion models, 1.5 and 2.1. The Dolly 2 is actually limited to the premium plan. We'll use the same exact full prompt we've been using, this retro comic style artwork with Elon Musk as a cover in a comic book. 
and we have the ability to remove things from the image. So if we want things to not show up in our pro or in our output of the image, we can do that here. Um, also keep in mind that you can adjust the prompt guidance and the quality and details. There's also the ability to choose the number of images, which is hidden from you right now. I'm gonna choose it to four just so we can see the different types. And also I'm gonna set this to 90. I did the hours of experimentation and I think 90 is a really good sweet spot for you all. And boom, we get our outputs. And what I really like about this type of design is that it's four very different takes on that same prompt all within that one input and so you really get to play around with it and have a lot of fun but here's the most insane part about playground ai you're not gonna believe they allow you to create a thousand images not per month not per week but per day you get a thousand images you're most likely not gonna run out unless you're mass producing them which in that case you can go on to the paid plans and it's actually fairly affordable but anyway i think the free plan is all many of you are gonna need and it does so much considering you get that many output comment which of the images from the free major alternatives i shared today you think came out the best and make sure you subscribe to avoid missing out on all the latest groundbreaking tools news and free resources that i'm sharing with you all and i'm going to link out to the next video you need to watch to stay ahead and not fall behind in this ai revolution